Hey, welcome to worshiptutorials.com. My name is Brian. In this uh, video, I'm going to teach you how to play uh, an electric guitar part for the song God is Able by Hillsong. This is going to follow the arrangement and uh, everything from the God is Able live album. If you head over to worshiptutorials.com, you can see an uh, electric guitar playthrough for this song. Um, you can see a tutorial video for acoustic guitar and electric guitar, both of those things. And you can get a full multi-track for this song. You can also get chord charts for this song. All kinds of resources there to uh, get you up and running. Now, with these electric guitar parts and tutorials, um, there are a lot of great resources out there that will show you exactly how to play it, just like the album. I approach these kind of like if I were the only electric guitar player in a band, what would I do? So it's gonna be sort of a mixture of rhythm and lead parts. Uh, and this is gonna kind of go back and forth between them. And I really try and simplify these things because I know a lot of the viewers on this channel are maybe just starting out on guitar or they've been playing acoustic guitar for a while and they're kind of transitioning or wanting to get into electric guitar. That was my story. Uh, so I kind of I kind of tailor these lessons toward that. So it's not gonna be terribly complicated. It's gonna be a little harder to play than like the acoustic part though. But we'll get the main riff down, we'll get a few uh, rhythm parts, the solo section, which is actually easier than you might think, and uh, we'll put the whole thing together. So the first thing is we're gonna be playing in the key of B. And let's just talk about gear because you do need a few things to get the sound right on this song. So I'm playing a PRS Custom 24. Certainly you don't need a PRS Custom 24, but if you like the sound of this, that's what that's what I'm playing. I like to use a humbucker on this song. I like the bridge humbucker for the big parts, but you know, play whatever you got, it'll work. Um, really what you need is to be able to get some drive. So on uh, my pedal board, I've got like that blue light that's on on that black pedal is a boost. Uh, and that's on a like a boost side of a, it's got a tube screamer on one side and a boost on the other. This white pedal here is like a claw and I'm gonna kick that on when I want a lot of drive. I'm using the uh, triple delay by TC Electronic to get a uh, dotted eighth note and quarter note delay. And I use that pretty much the whole way through. That dotted eighth and quarter note delay sounds like this. <laughs> kind of gallops back and forth. Uh, this song is at 79 BPM, as you can see there um, on my tap tempo. I've got a little bit of reverb, and that's pretty much it. I'm playing through the Agape Tribute 18 watt uh, head. But really, anything you've got, um, if you can get that kind of delay and some drive, you can do this song and make it sound pretty much like the album. So uh, let's talk first about the, the riff. Uh, this is in the key of B. What I like to do is use my pinky, put it on the 14th fret of the, D, of the B string, and we're gonna be playing uh, from 11, 12, and 14. And so you go pinky on the 14th fret of the B string, and you pull off. So 14 to 12. That's all right there. I pull off from pinky to my middle finger. And then I just kind of bar everything on the uh, 11th fret with my index finger. And you go uh, the E string from 11 to 12. So that's it. So it's 14 to 12. Then on the E string, 11 to 12. Okay, so that's the, the first part of the riff. And then the second part of the riff, uh, you do that uh, 14 to 12 pull off thing. And then you go from the 11th to the 13th on the D string on the bottom. And then you come back to the 12th fret of the B string. So again, it's 14 to 12 trying to get this finger out of the way for you. And then you go 11 to 12 on the E. They do the 14 to 12 again. Then you go 11 to 13 on the D. Back to the 12. So you're always kind of landing on this 12th fret of the, uh, of the uh, B string. That's kind of your root. When you turn it on and you got the delay going, it sounds a little like this. Two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the delays off and I'm gonna play it really slow for you and show you how it goes. Starting from the uh, 14th fret on the B string. Okay. 
Okay, so that is your riff. And uh, you play it kind of a couple times and then halfway through the band kicks in. So you could either turn on a drive or just kick it to your bridge pickup, which is what I do and it sounds like this. Okay, so that is uh, the intro riff and the turnaround riff, kind of the lead riff of the whole song. Um, and you notice, so the PR, the Custom 24, this has the five-way rotary. The new ones have a five-way blade, which is a little easier to access the sounds. But I was going from the bridge, from the one away from the bridge position, which is kind of like the two, I would call it the second position. It's a single coil sound to a full humbucker sound, which kind of gives you a little kick. Um, you can get that any number of ways. If you're playing, you can roll your volume off and then roll it in when you go in, when you go big. That's one good way to do it. Um, so you can have your big sound already set up. Just roll your volume back and then roll it in when you go to it. Um, or you can flip uh, pickups if you have something that'll do that. Or if you have like a, a humbucker with a coil split, you can split it and then kick it in full humbucker for the big sound. But uh, anyway, there's a number of ways you can go about doing it. There's really no right way to do it or wrong way to do it. It's just whatever you like best, whatever works for you. Okay, so uh, that's the intro. And then you get into the verse and um, you have kind of a couple options here. One thing you can do is just not play, which is a good option to do for the first verse because everything drops out. I kind of like to do this little ambient kind of mellow thing. So we're kind of stationed right here. You've got your index finger across the uh, the eleventh fret of the, the these top three high strings, and your uh, middle finger there, and you're kind of making this D shape, which is a B. If you play it, it's a, like a triad. So uh, one thing I like to do here is when you get in the verse is kind of just pick these two. So you're going from 11 on the D string to 12 on the B string to 11, 11, back to 11, 12, and then 10 to 10. That'd be nine to nine actually on the ninth fret. Then back up, real simple. And then at the end of the verse, I got I kind of go back to this 11, 11. And then you get into the first chorus. So when you put that together, I'll kind of slow it down for you, turn the delays off. And uh, here I would go back to my single coil position or just pick lightly. It sounds like this. That's 11 to 12, 11 to 11. 11 to 12. Drop down to nine. Back to 11, 12, 11, 11, 11, 12. You can go up to 14 and then back to 11, 11. And then you're ready for the chorus. Lift it up. But I'll play that verse part with uh, the delays on and it sounds like this. It's just really ambient, really pretty. Well, not really ambient, but just soft and mellow. Lift it up. Okay, so when you hit that part of the song, the first chorus, it only happens, I only play it in the first chorus. Uh, you kind of, you're back here at 11 and 12 and 14. It's all kind of right, it all happens right here on the guitar. Um, on the D, on the D string, I slide up into the 11th fret and then go 12 on the B and then 14, back to 12 to 11, all on the D, on the B string. <laughs> so on the D string, slide into 11, and then on the D on the B string, uh, 12, 14, back to 12 to 11, and then you do kind of that first half again. You slide into the 11th fret on the D string, 12th on the B, 14th on the B, 12th on the B, and then nine on the D, 
and then you do the whole thing again. Okay, so uh, I'll turn it on, I'll turn the delays off, and I'll play it real slow for you. So you're coming into the chorus. Lift it up. Raise to life. And with delay on, sounds like this at tempo. This song's not too fast, so it's not too hard. After you play that, you're right into your intro lick again. Uh, and if you want, give it a little more drive or go to your bridge pickup. Okay, so if you transition between the two of them, I'll play that last lick for the verse into, or sorry, for the chorus into the uh, turnaround. It goes like this. do that over again um, and then you play the verse kind of the same way but the, when you get to the chorus the second time the song really gets big so the song's kind of big there on that turnaround section the second time through the chorus you're really going to want to hit it and I play rhythm chords for these uh, parts but I play them up here so this is a D chord it's kind of a or sorry a B it's kind of a C shape but way up top so uh, to play it it's real simple you bar, I like to do it, I bar on the 11th fret with my index finger, put your uh, middle finger on the 12th fret of the B, and put your ring finger on the uh, 13th fret of the D string. When you ring it out, it sounds like this. So you might wanna only hit the top three strings. So that is your B. Turn my delay off while I show you these. There's your B. To play your uh, F sharp, you uh, keep this bar here on the 11th and then just take your pinky and bar the, uh, the B and the E strings on the 14th fret. And then your G sharp minor is a lot like your B, so play your B and then take your ring finger and put it on the uh, G string instead of the D string. On the, on the 14th fret. And you're only gonna wanna play these top three strings. And then your E, it looks a lot like the F sharp, which was right here, but down two. So you're barred on nine and you're, uh, bar and you're hitting the 12th fret on these top two strings. So when you put them together, it goes B to E. G sharp minor to E. And so when you play it at uh, tempo with the delays, it goes like this. Here's the B. Lift it up. Okay, so at the end there, the chord progression kind of changes, but you just follow those chords playing the, uh, the shapes up here. So B, F sharp, G sharp minor, E, then B to F sharp, to G sharp minor, to F sharp, to E. 
And then we hit the solo section, which is just octaves. Now, um, if you're used to playing octaves like this, if you go down to B, it'd be here. Um, it's a little different because the octaves up here. Uh, so I play it with my pinky on the B string. You start on the, let's see, 15, 17, 19th fret. It looks like it's not that high on the fretboard because this guitar has 24 frets. Um, maybe your guitar has 22 or 21 if you're like playing a Fender style guitar, but um, it's 19. You should have 19 frets. And so uh, you play 19 on the B string. And then on the D string, you play on the uh, 16th fret. So they're three frets apart, but that's an octave. And then you kind of mute all the other strings with your uh, fingers. So it's, it's, I'm just gonna call out the high fret. So it's 19, 17, uh, 16, uh, 14, 11, 12, back to 19, 16, 14, 17? Yeah. Okay, so it just kind of follows that pattern. I'll play it slow with no delay. Um, this was a little tricky for me when I first started to learn it because I was used to playing an octaves a little bit different way, but it goes like this. So starting on the 19. Okay, and when you put the delays on it, and for this, that's when I hit my overdrive, the big overdrive, and it sounds like this. Two, three, here we go. So, you can hear how it sounds when you play it a little sloppy. Um, when I come out of that, uh, that's when you're in the bridge. God is with us. And I just play big open chords at the bottom. Uh, sounds like this. So those chords were B. I'm kind of almost playing power chords to F sharp, G sharp minor, F sharp to E. And you do that over again. That's the bridge. And then you come out of that, lift it up, holding the B. Feet in the grave, raised to life. Our God is able. In his name, when you hit in his name in that last chorus, play the top, the first half of the lead line. We overcome. And then when you repeat the the uh, the, the chorus again, it's big. You're playing these chords. end of this song there are some tags uh, for the Lord and so you just repeat that last line it's G sharp minor our God F sharp is able E for the Lord G sharp minor our God F sharp is able E and then you end on a B which you can play down there or you can play it here so I'll just kind of play it out at the very end. For the Lord. Might help if you don't hit chord notes that you don't want, so. 
<laughs> that would be the last note. But that's it. God is able on an electric guitar, kind of a hybrid part, lead and rhythm together. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Um, you might notice I play a lot of these shapes up here on a lot of songs. So here's B, you can play it in A, play it in G. Uh, you can just move those shapes around. So those things are handy to know. Um, but really not a hard song to play and it's a lot of fun, especially when you got all the delays and stuff going. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely inspired by The Edge from U2 with that quarter note dotted eighth. But uh, a fun song. Good luck with it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.